I'm not a huge gamer. I'm not really very good at games. When I heard about Rocksmith 2014, I got excited though. For the first time, it seemed like the game console could really, really, really be useful to me. Kind of useful in the way that a PC is useful. That I could have it there to play games when I wanted to, but then when, when I didn't want to, I could do other stuff on it and actually learn things and, and be productive. Last Christmas, Christmas 2012, we bought my daughter an electric guitar. And although she's got a book that tries to teach her how to play and stuff, she really hasn't used it at all because it's just too hard to learn on your own. And we couldn't afford lessons for her. Then I saw Rocksmith 2014 and that all changed because with Rocksmith, you pay a one-time fee. At the time of writing, it's $79.99 including the cable that you need to connect your guitar to your Xbox. You pay that one-time fee, and then you've got a program which actually teaches you how to play guitar. Now, what we found is that there's a lot of videos online about Rocksmith where people show off how great they are and uh, the, the wonderful accomplishments they've got. And even the, the Rocksmith introduction videos that are made by Ubisoft or whoever actually makes the videos, they tend to show people who have tried the game out and are then telling you, oh, look how great this was 60 days ago. I couldn't play guitar and look how wonderful I am now. And that's great. I'm hoping that in 60 days or so, I'm going to be uh, making a video just like that. And I'm hoping Rocksmith really is that good. But what I wanted to do was to make a video which shows you how Rocksmith works for a beginner. I am a complete beginner. I played a little guitar in school when I was seven. I'm now 38. So that was a very long time ago. Uh, and I was never any good at it back then. So my daughter and I have both been using Rocksmith to try and learn guitar. A slight disclaimer here. I'm taking you through it as if it's the first time I've ever switched it on and uh, I'm just going for it for the first time just so you can see how everything goes through, see how great it is, how simple it is, uh, how it takes you through every single step. But I have actually played the game before. So when we get into uh, the playing the, the guitar, Although I am still terrible because I've only played it a couple of times. I'm nowhere near as terrible as, as I was that first time. Um, so if you're not even as not terrible as me, don't worry about it. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get there. Welcome to Rocksmith 2014. And sure Rocksmith has now loaded Rocksmith and we get to the, the stage where it's asking us to go through first, and tell it who we are. And to start off where, where we are, what level we're Hold at, and... Would you various say other things that you need to know. Face. Think mostly about the one you want to play first today. All right, now let's choose what kind of parts you want to play. Do you plan on playing right-handed or left-handed? And then it walks us through how to hold the, this one the pick. A shot. Test that the guitar is connected. Awesome. And carries on let's through on. to uh, show us how to tune the guitar. Tuning the guitar is great because it shows you exactly which direction to turn the knob. It points up or down uh, for We're gonna bring up left or right. Uh, and when you see it, play your strings hard and it helps you tune the guitar, get it all in tune. And there are various places in the game where you need to tune the guitar differently because the rock band that you happen to be playing a particular song from have decided that they want to tune their guitars differently from standard uh, and, and it will take you through that and then it will take you through tuning it back again once you go back to a different song. The tuner tells you if the note's too low or too high. Then you turn the matching tuning peg to adjust it until the needle is right in the middle. If the needle moves the wrong way, turn the other direction. Now, go ahead and get your low E string in tune. I won't make you sit through the whole of me tuning my guitar, but you just have to go through and do every string in turn uh, until you've got them all right. And then once they are done, the program will allow you 
to move on to the next stage. It won't allow you to go on until all the strings are correctly tuned because it's actually going to be listening to what you're playing to make sure that you're playing the right thing so your guitar's got to be in tune so that the notes come through correctly. Once it's tuned, it'll you show you your it, missions. You there are missions all over the place. You can earn extra points for each mission. It's a nice way to keep tabs on what you're doing. Then we get to the main menu and there are many different choices. We're going into learner song mode. Uh, we completed a mission here, just checking out learner song mode. And it's given us another mission uh, to play a correct note on a song. See the missions start easy and they get harder. We have a choice of songs that we can select between. Uh, it gives them initially in an order of recommendation. Are You Mine by the Arctic Monkeys is apparently the easiest one to start with. So here we go, it takes you to the next page. Um, ask you to just click A to play the song or select one of the other options on the page, which we'll look at after this. But here we go, starting to play our first song. Now it's a little difficult to see on the screen, but it's showing you the red string, which is the E string, and the number two. So the second fret from the red string, and you just have to strum the string, up the string, do whatever you want as you reach it. Sorry, as it reaches the end here. You'll notice that the speakers uh, have circles coming out of them whenever you play something on the guitar. So you'll be able to hear yourself playing and you'll be able to hear uh, the band playing the song in the background and it'll show you uh, when the when your music starts by, by doing that visual from the speakers. Now it's going fairly easy on us. It's just giving us one note every little while. It's thrown in an extra note which was uh, and number five on the yellow string, the second string, which I think is the A string. It can be a bit of a panic when you uh, try and change, especially the first time. And now we're starting to get into a little a little bit of a riff here. Five, five A, and then two on the E string twice so you're beginning to to see that you're playing a couple of different notes and making a tune out of it and it's continuing to, to give you these twos it's, it's nice and easy if you miss them that's fine you see those arrows pointed there that means i was too far down i must have been down on the third fret, fret so it's telling me to move my fingers over to the second fret knows I've missed the, the note and it tells me which way I was out. Now I'm going all the way up to yellow 7 and yellow 10 and now I've got to, oh I missed the 10. Back down to a nice red 2, that was a little better. And it calms down again. I'm telling you, when you first play your heart starts beating faster you, you, it shows you a different note. Here's another one. I've got to go five on yellow and then two on red. Oh, no, the two on yellow. So you can see, even I'm getting it wrong, just doing it. And so we go on. It, it tells you when you miss a note, it pops up miss. Uh, and if you get one to the side, on the wrong fret, it will point in the, the direction you want to go. But as you can see, it's spacing things out very simply. and easy. Oh, now we've got a red 14. Can I get down there in time? Yes, I made it. Now my my strumming, plucking, whatever you like to call it, isn't great. 
I'm sure that's going to get better. And here it has measured my accuracy. My longest streak was 25 in a row, 92% accuracy, uh, which means I've got a score on this this uh, song of 8.5%. The eight, I completed a mission by uh, hitting a note and another mission and playing a variety of songs can help get your skills to the next level. So my new mission is to play a different song. Well, I, I'm not going to do that right now. I want to play the same song again to see if I'm, I can be a little better at it the next time. Now it has some options further down there, riff this intro and review this chords 101 lesson and there's the technique guide in Guitar Arcade School. I'll look at those in another video. What I want to do right now is go back and play that song again to show you, I got a fairly high percentage, I think it was 92% did I get? Uh, and so it's gonna be adding in more notes this time. You'll see that they're coming faster, it's still, giving me just this five yellow and the two red. But it's been more, more of it. Oh, and then it throws in a nine. And a couple of fives. Wow, this is a little more difficult. I wish I hadn't done so well. But what it's gonna do is as I attempt to play this song, it will measure how well I'm doing at it, and then it will adjust the level of what it's giving me to, uh, suit my level of play. Uh, I've had quite a few arrows pointing here so I'm obviously um, I'm trying to not look down at my guitar and find the fret. I'm trying to just move it with my hands. Uh, just trying to remember how far down I've got to move it without actually looking and I've been missing a few times. There you go, I've missed again. I'm moving it too far over, so obviously I need to keep looking down more. It doesn't matter if you completely miss a note or two, or three, or four, or whatever. The song will just continue playing, and you can pick up uh, wherever you can. Just look for a note that you can hit, and go for it, and start again from there. Just relax yourself and, and do it. The game will recognize that you've had problems in certain sections, it will make it easier again for you. It will uh, give you other options to how to, to learn. There's a riff repeater, so you can repeat one section over and over again until you master it. And it's still just giving me a note every little while. I'm sure very shortly, there we go, I was late on that one, I missed that, that was down in the blue string, I, I was late on it. I'm sure as I continue to play this game, it's going to give me more notes, so instead of ding, 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 I'll be ding, ding, ding. I'm a little scared of that, but <laughs> that's the whole point of the program. It gives me feedback as I go along. I get to the end of the of playing the song and it tells me how well I did and it's adjusting itself to my level so that I can learn. I'm not just going for a guitar lesson and going home and trying to practice and seeing how I can make it sound for myself and reading it for music and thinking, well, I think this sounds right. The game is actually listening to the notes I play because my guitar is plugged into the Xbox and it's telling me whether I'm hitting the right notes at the right time. I think we're coming towards the end of the song here. My longest streak that time was 15 with only 76% accuracy, but obviously it was more difficult that time and it's looked at me and it's told me I'm now 14.7 percent uh, I guess 14 or 14.6 percent on my way to mastering this song I guess when I first started doing it I was getting streaks of maybe 15 16 uh, at the most 
there were some games and my longest streak was five when I originally did it. But a few hours has got me up to this level. And so maybe if I can keep doing this every day for 60 days, I will actually get to that point that they're suggesting I'll get to where I'll be a guitar player in 60 days. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you come back and see my next ones and see how I'm getting on.